What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Cubcast Daily, our news section we run here on the channel. Not as much anymore, uh, obviously, because we are super busy running a thousand different things, but uh, I thought today it would be a good opportunity to check something out from Thames, who has just put out a very exciting announcement. And uh, yeah, just in general, I thought this would be a good opportunity to catch up in that regard as well. Earlier on this year, I did put together a sort of shorter... Um, almost like sort of essentially a vlog piece I'm um, talking about how it was essential that Thames was releasing an album this year obviously she's been in the starlight spotlight now for I'd say four years um, we know 2020 was obviously the year she properly properly exploded alongside Wizkid um, and then on, on essence of course since then she has popped up in numerous places we know she's won numerous awards she has maintained an incredibly high streaming um, streaming situation despite not releasing much music like we're we're talking, I think, less than 10 releases in four, like 10 tracks in four years, which is absolutely crazy. I know there's been the, she's had an EP, she's had uh, obviously features in certain places, but I don't think she's released more than 10 solo tracks in four years since she um, first exploded. Now, I think it's absolutely crazy to have been able to do that, um, but also have maintained this incredible level of popularity. She has still maintained that real high level of collaborative energy we're looking at. She's recently featured on the Thames, uh, on, on the Thames, on the Tyler album, um, which was really exciting to see. You can check out the reaction for that on this channel. I know she's won numerous awards for the collaboration with Future and Drake. Um, we've seen her pop up on Drake's album as well. We've seen her pop up here and there as features. Obviously, all of the work she did around the Black Panther film with uh, her cover of No Woman, No Cry was huge. I know she wrote uh, the Lift Me Up tune, which Rihanna ended up singing. Um, so she, she's mixing with the real sort of top end, top echelon of kind of international music culture here. And I think it's about time that we get to see her really take that spotlight and go it's my time to release an album and by the looks of things that is what's happened we have seen this uh new page appear on her website to the you can pre-save born in the wild um it looks like it's going to be coming out in may 2024 um whether this is a full-length album uh or an ep i'm not entirely sure but that is now a banner that you can check out from her social media pages um and alongside that she's also released a one minute trailer onto her youtube channel so i thought this would be a good opportunity uh to check out that trailer and obviously see how it's sounding how it's looking the sort of structure of it as always if you are enjoying the content we're putting up here on the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all that good stuff slightly longer intro for this one it is only a one minute clip um, but i wanted to give some context and it is an official album trailer according to what the video says born in the world let's see what we're saying Those chords are so Thamesy. It's all over the news, all over the news. I noticed under the sun, struggling to find my focus. When I was young, young and young, I was old. So we're seeing a real sense of kind of nostalgic atmosphere on this trailer. And I think that bodes very kind of heavily into what we're going to be expecting from Thames. I don't think we're going to have much previously released material on there. Um, we know she's had that single. She had a single out, I think, at the start of this year, which obviously did really well. And it was like a real kind of re-kickstart into who Thames is. But I do feel just off this trailer and... I suppose as well, just the general, like, her sort of approach to things. I think we're going to be getting entirely new material. I think this is going to be a project that, I suppose, as an overall piece, just represents her journey. Because it's been four years in the spotlight. To not have released an album after being in the spotlight for four years is pretty crazy. Um, and I think she is a master at kind of making the most out of what she does. Like, again, to have, have released such little music, but to be in the position of kind of international music royalty she's already in, I think is crazy. And I think she's an expert in kind of managing both that expectation and, I suppose, the build-up that comes with that as well. Born in the way Born in the wild Born in the wild Born in the wild Born in the wild It's a cool transition now I grew now. up in the wilderness Didn't know much about openness Born in the wild Born in the wild so I'll be very interested to know if that's going to be an expanded track on the album or whether that's literally just a clip that's been made for this. Often, you'll have a title track on albums. 
I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if Thames actually went into this with just this as almost like an introductory skit. And that 56 second clip there is the first track on the album. And the rest is her expla- ex- kind of exploring and explaining. It's a really exciting thing to see. Um, the potential is super, super high. But then there's also the you don't want to kind of oversell it to the point where you're where, where people are left disappointed. I don't think people will be. I think her understanding of, I suppose, sonic music creation, the idea of kind of creating a uh, fusing, I'd say, emotion with real contemporary music themes. I don't think there are many people better um, than her at doing that. And you can hear that across all of those sort of big scale collaborations we have heard her involved in over over the last few years um guys i'd be really keen to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below it has been a while since we put together one of these um more sort of discussion type videos obviously this comes with the the, the, the sort of the trailer and it also comes with the splash page information i think the trailer dropped yesterday evening um and it is a really exciting thing to see. I'm very keen to see how Thames approaches the campaign, whether it's going to be a super kind of minimal, um, maybe one single beforehand, and then it drops, and then you kind of do everything post, or whether she's going into it with a full-scale kind of market plan already in place, where there's going to be maybe two singles in the lead-up to this, maybe a remix of a previous tune, or she appears on an external remix. We know she's definitely going to be appearing, I feel, on those international sort of sofa stages. I think that's something that's going to be a big part of this campaign. Um, we're seeing the success that is having off it and i think thames is going to see that and go i can do that and i can do it in my way and maybe even do it better i think that's something we're going to see so really exciting times i would love this to be a feature length project so i'm talking sort of 14 15 16 tracks i'd be ever so slightly disappointed if it was just like a, a 9 10 track project um and I feel that's almost like the trend to have. You kind of keep people wanting more. For me, I feel the fans have waited long enough for a full-length project from her. So what I would love to see is a full-length project having the entirety of her kind of creative ability on display. That's what I would love to see. Guys, this has been an, this has been a very fun video. I'd like to do a few more of these once I get a bit more time. I'm all over the place with time management at the moment. Um, I know, obviously, as I'm sure you're aware, if you watch a lot of these videos, I work full-time alongside um, running this channel. So I'd like to get more videos up. I had a bit of uh, yeah, a bit of spare time today, so I thought I'd throw this one together. As always, if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all that good stuff, and we shall see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked. Welcome to Cubs Clubhouse, live on Brighton's premier platform for new music. Platform B.